Hi everyone. Today I'm sharing what we had for dinner. The main dish was the orange rice over there. It's the spinach rice. It was so tasty. I enjoyed myself. So as the family, we served it with a catfish, our most favorite fish, and uh, some fruit and vegetables. That's uh, spinach, uh, cucumber, pineapple, and avocado. It was so yummy. So I'm going to go through how I made this rice. I started with washing the parboiled rice. This is two cups. I used that half a cup measuring cup. So I took four of them into a bowl and then wash them three times to, re to remove starch and also any impurities and any anything which is not supposed to be consumed so I washed it a few times with the running running water as you can see some prefer not to wash they just cook it but I prefer to, to wash my rice before I cook it and depending on the method of cooking at times I remove the the starch through boiling however today I'm cooking it differently since I don't want it to be too soft I want it to remain a bit strong and not too soft it depends on what you like but that's how i prefer it so this rice is going to be a spicy 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 but tasty rice the orange color is from the orange bell pepper i usually use the red one but i didn't have it so i decided to be more creative and use the orange one and the rice color came out so perfect i liked it and i'm going to do it again you know when you're in the kitchen it's always good to be creative so if people expect something nice all the time when you're cooking so yeah so there we go i'm going to blend my vegetables these include onion, bell pepper, the red pepper, the spicy one, and uh, the, yeah, that's it, and tomatoes, I'm sorry to say. I measure two and a quarter cups of water and add to the rice, add some salt, one teaspoon of salt. I add some paprika to give a bit of color as well. I'm just sprinkling it, I'm measuring with my eyes, but you can put as much as you want, depending on how how colorful you want. I'm going to use the red hot pepper, the grounded one. I'm use one teaspoon of it. I'm also going to add some garlic. I will just sprinkle some garlic. I won't measure my eyes as the hand is sprinkling you can see I will also add some thyme I do the same sprinkle it also depends on how much you want so I'm using my eyes to make sure like I said before the cooking oil I'm going to use one tablespoon just to give some uh, nice texture in the rice once it's cooked mix it together the last thing i will add is bay leaves two of them will be enough they just give some good aroma and set it on medium to boil for about 10 minutes after 10 minutes i check at this point you can remove your bay leaf if you want to i just kept mine i removed them at the end just to keep them in there for a good aroma 
at this point i mix everything to make sure if all the ingredients have blended well together and then i cover the pot and reduce the heat so that it can simmer for a while now it has simmered i am going to add the spinach you can add as can much spinach as you want can I use the can I, can I? i'm sorry for the delay my my son was just disturbing me anyway so that's uh spinach you can add as much as you like i washed it before i cut it and i am mix it very well with the rice as you know spinach is quite soft so the moment you put it with anything hot it becomes soft so it's just mixing i'm not going to cook it because you can eat it raw and also so it's going to get cooked with the heat and the rice is done as you can see how colorful it is it's so tasty if you can try this i'm sure you'll thank me later we really enjoyed ourselves and that was what we ate like i explained before and thank you so much for watching